Hey, good morning. Glad you could be with me this morning. I do this every morning. Uh, that's something we put on YouTube and on Facebook and other places on our website. So uh, glad you could join us. If there are others you would like to uh, share this with, share with them. Have them join us. We're glad to have them come be part of this and uh, get a little thought in the morning uh, for your day. So uh, today I want to talk about holiness. What, what do you think of when you think of holiness? Um, perhaps certain images come to mind. We, we don't generally say, well, this, I, I'm living the holy life. We, we're a little, usually more humble about it, but holiness is something that God talked about, um, about holiness and being right before God and living a holy life. Well, uh, John White wrote in his book, The Fight, what kind of word images came to mind when he was thinking of the word holiness and what that was about. See if any of these kind of reflect what you think when holiness. I'm just going to read a short list to you. Thinness. Hollow-eyed gauntness. Beards. Sandals. Long robes. Stone cells. No sex. No jokes. Hair shirts. Frequent cold baths. Fasting. Hours of prayer. Wild, rocky deserts. Getting up at 4 a.m. Clean fingernails. Stained glass. Self-humiliation. <laughs> We tend to think of those for that are assigned to the monks or some of the mystics or martyrs, some of those people, and that's the kind of lives they live in, not the real world in which we live. Or that doesn't sound very attractive to me, does it to you? I, I don't know if I want cold showers like that. And, and I don't know, getting up at 4 a.m., sometimes I have to. But usually I like a couple more hours sleep at least, get in, get. But perhaps, perhaps that's kind of the word pictures you get when you think of holiness. Well, that that was challenged by uh, Chuck Colson. Do you remember Chuck Colson? Chuck Colson was in the Watergate, got caught up in the Watergate, and he actually was convicted and served some time in prison. Well, while he was in prison, he came to find Christ as his savior, completely changed his life. It's an amazing story about what happened. So. Perhaps you could uh, say and look at that and say, wow, that was amazing. Um, well, in his book, in his book that he wrote, and he wrote several books, but in his book, Loving God, he wrote this and see if this reflects something in your thinking. Holiness is the everyday business of every Christian. It evidences itself in the decisions we make and things we do, hour by hour, day by day. Holiness in what we do. What is he really talking about? He's talking about living the life that Christ lived and letting Christ live in us, which reflects what Paul told us in Ephesians chapter 2. Yes, in chapter 2, verse 8, there's that great thing about for by grace are you saved through faith, and not of works, lest any man should boast. It is a gift of God. But then in verse 10, following up that very thought, in verse 10, here are the words that we don't often read uh, and hear about. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians 2 verse 10. Wonderful passage. That is what holiness is talking about. Holiness is about, well, yesterday I was working with a fabulous group of people at my church and they came together to put together food boxes um, to be handed out on Friday. We have a food distribution program once a month, just a little to help people supplement what they can get through. And people line up and they come with their cars and we quickly load in their cars and go, well, I was working with such a great group of people. They work so well together and they were doing the work of God. You see, they were doing the work of Christ. 
And even they had, there was a family with children there and those children, all of them, even small ones got in and did their part to help. Sometimes we're moving boxes and taking them out. Some were loading up boxes, some were filling things. It was amazing uh, that children and the adults all cooperating together, pulling this together for a little over an hour and a half, putting together 65 boxes. It was amazing to see and I was delighted to work and I, and as I was watching this, I said, yes, this is the work of Christ in helping others. Well, I hope that you find ways to, quote, live holiness, to live a good life today and helping others around you, doing God's will. It's a wonderful thing to do. That's my prayer for me today, and I hope it is for you. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you that you have called us and created us to do the works of Christ that we may be loving and caring for those around us. We thank you for the opportunity to help others, particularly at this time when many are out of work because of COVID. Yes, we're being careful, we're wearing our masks, but Lord, we ask that you bless us. Help our ministry to expand and to go to those who are greatly in need. Be with us today as all of us who are listening find ways to help others. It is a great and kind thing to do. It is the holy life to do your will. Be with us then in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Be Friday. God bless you. Have a great day and live the holy life. All right.